Nigeria's Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, wants all Nigerians to engage one another in discussions in order to resolve the obvious differences and foster peace and stability in the country. And Professor Oshibajo was speaking at the 75th birthday celebration and book launch in honor of the former managing director of the Daily Times of Nigeria, Dr. Yemi Ogumbi in Lagos. The event also had in attendance our former Commonwealth Secretary General, former Governor of Ogun State, and other dignitaries, plus TV News correspondent Ngozi Kayachisi reports. It was an evening of memories, celebration, music and nostalgia, as friends and families of Dr. Yemi Ogumbi gathered to celebrate his 75th birthday and launched the book, The Road Never Forgets. Pupils of the Yemi Ogumbi Aglican School, named after the celebrant, provided music interludes. Various speakers at the event likened Ogumbi's trajectory to the birth and political growth of Nigeria. The 75-year-old man was born in Kano, in northern Nigeria, to a Yoruba father and an Igbo mother, which he vividly narrated in his memoirs. You see, this title, The Road Never Forgets, I wrote a play called The Road. There is no way Yemi Ogumi will persuade me or anyone that he did not steal the copyright of The Road. And I'm willing to negotiate with him and I donate whatever I extract from him to this worthy cause of universal education. Many of the stories compiled in this book, my siblings and I have been blessed to either witness or hear from my dad over the course of our lives. He told us stories about his childhood in Kano, about his KC days when he was head boy, and when he used to pole vault, ladies and gentlemen, did you know my father used to pole vault? He told us about his New York days with Uncle BJ, about how writing a PhD looked very different before Google. We all know about his days teaching, about how he stumbled into the media industry by chance, but ended up finding a new home there. In his speech, Former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Emeka Anyoko, said the only way Nigeria can solve its myriad problems was for it to revert to true federalism. He used the occasion to charge prospective candidates in the forthcoming 2023 general election to commit themselves to the reformulation of the country's governance system. I believe that the picture that emerges from the book is that Nigeria has largely been on the decline during the period in question. And that in Yemi's words, Nigeria needs a fresh start, new thinking, and a new beginning. It was time for the Vice President, Professor Yemi Simbajo, to give his speech. He harped on the need for all Nigerians of all extracts to engage one another in a concrete discussion that can bet peace. In telling this compelling story, we are led through the nationalistic idealism of our pre-colonial days, the excitement of civil rule and its tragic denouement, then military rule, a curious diarchy, other iterations of civil rule, and all manner of contemporary events but he engages every subject honestly, openly, and frankly. Somehow, it almost seems that by his open, vulnerable style, he disarms and commands empathy and admiration. And perhaps there is counsel there for us as a nation. Perhaps we need to talk more to ourselves and not at ourselves. We need frank discussions on the issues that divide us. And we need openness about our fears and prejudices. Emeritus Professor Femi Oshofiso, a poet, playwright and scholar, reviewed the book. The story of his life so far and ever, with all these collisions and encounters, his moments of glory and of depression, his successes and failures and so on, is what Yemi has assembled in this book. And it is rightly voluminous, taking over 400 pages. 
structured into four parts of three chapters each, making a total of 12 chapters in all. This book. We just all Writing this book, I stuck to my memory, even though I was aware that memory could be selective, tricky, and even forgetful. But memory, as I argue in the book, is vital. How can we carry our memories? How do we, how do our memories shape our lives, especially if one had to struggle? cultures as a child. In writing this book, however, I confirm that I made no compromises with my past. It's words and all. Rooted family in the belief that a memoir is, after all, an interplay between memory and history. According to Dr. Gumbi, Nigeria needs a fresh start and fresh thinking as nothing can be built on what currently exists. Ngozika or Jesse, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.